Topsy and Tim visit the police station. One morning, Topsy and Tim were in such a hurry to get to school that they forgot to shut the front door properly behind them. Roly-poly, their puppy, pushed the door open and ran down the street after them. Bad boy, said Topsy and Tim. Go back home. Shoo! Then they hurried on to school. This was naughty of Topsy and Tim. They should have taken Roly-poly back home and made sure he was safe. Just as Topsy and Tim reached school, a police car drove slowly into the playground and stopped. The children were very interested. They all gathered round. Can anyone tell me where to find Miss Terry? asked the policeman. Why, what's she done? said Andy Anderson. Topsy and Tim knew where to find Miss Terry. Miss Terry is our teacher, they said. They felt very grown up leading the policeman to their classroom. Constable Webb had come to school to tell the children all about the work that the police do. He told them that there are lots of men and women in the police force. Between them, they look after all the town. I call the part of town that I look after my beat, said Constable Webb, and I make friends with the people on my beat. If anyone loses anything special, they come to the police station and tell us, and we help them find it. If anyone finds anything special, they should take it to the police station so that the police can give it back to its real owner. We have police dogs to help us find things, he said, and our own radios so that we can talk to other policemen. Sometimes if people do wrong, I have to arrest them, said Constable Webb. Another important job, he said, is looking after traffic. When Constable Webb had finished talking, he gave the children some police clothes to dress up in. Topsy put on a policewoman's hat. Andy Anderson pretended that he had been knocked down by a fast car. Police Constable Tim radioed for an ambulance. When it was time for Constable Webb to go, all the children went to the playground with him to wave goodbye. In the afternoon, the children painted police pictures. Topsy painted a policewoman. Tim painted a big police dog called Roly Poly. Andy Anderson painted Police Constable Webb driving his police car. Miss Terry pinned all their pictures on the wall. Mummy met Topsy and Tim after school. I've got some bad news, she said. Someone left the front door open and Roly Poly got out. He hasn't come home and I'm afraid he's lost. Topsy and Tim felt very glum. They knew it was their fault that Roly Poly was lost. Then Tim had a good idea. Let's go to the police station, he said. The desk sergeant in the police station was sorry to hear that Topsy and Tim's puppy was lost. Tell me what he looks like, she said. Small and brown with a very waggy tail, said Topsy. His name is Roly Poly, said Tim. The desk sergeant wrote it all down in her book. She wrote Topsy and Tim's address too. We will let you know if we find him, she said. Topsy and Tim and Mummy went home for tea. It was a very quiet tea. They all missed Roly Poly. Suddenly the telephone rang. Dad answered it. It's the police station, he said. Constable Webb found a puppy on his beat. It is small and brown with a very waggy tail. It may be Roly Poly. It was Roly Poly at the police station. He was very glad to be found. Constable Webb was pleased too.